Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Lynn, and I am Pretty Paper Craft 67. Um, belly band tags. Now, I know this is not a new concept, but it was a new idea to me. I um, saw these little tag packs um, online in a little shop in Toowoomba, and um, I just really love them. They're very simple, but I thought they were really a nice idea. So when I got them home, I thought, I really liked this, um, yeah, a great little project for snail, uh, snail mail, happy mail, or putting in junk journal pockets, or you could make them a, a flip on the side of a page. So I set about, I made a little one. These were the two that I bought, and then I made this little one. Um, yeah, and I've just got some assorted plain tags in there. And I thought I would make a bigger one. So, um, yeah, let's get on to that. And we'll just do a, a quick, it's a quick little craft project. Just something a little different. Um, so the tag shape that I have cut is an extra large tag. Uh, it measures about six and a quarter inches by just under five. No specific measurement. It was just what I cut. And I've just cut that onto a scrap piece of cardstock that I had. That I have um, and this here is a new printable that I've just um, released into the Etsy store this one's called in the garden it's um, a five sheets five in the kit and I thought we might use some of this one today I really like this rose one um, yeah all very floral uh, with a lot of text backgrounds so yeah I think I might go ahead and use this floral one as my um for as as the front of my belly band tag and then i'm just going to back it onto some coffee stain paper so really really simple very very easy um all you need to do is i'm just grabbing some paper all you need to do is play with some glue and paper so i'm just going to use a glue stick and basically i'm just going to stick my tag down onto this printable page first up I hope everyone is well Friday morning here in Brisbane or in Australia not just Brisbane <laughs> so Christmas week is done and dusted just about so I want to grab this this area of the printable here so I'm just going to flip that and just pop my tag down roughly in that area give that a really good burnish down like that and then I'm just going to cut that out cut that out from the printable page really quickly okay. start to feel that heat building up here today we've had a bit of rain overnight so it's going to be quite muggy I think today but we live in Queensland and it is summer so can't really expect anything more all right so that is our tag easy as that that's quite a pretty that's really quite pretty that section of that page <coughs> excuse me now on these tag packs that um, I bought the belly band, these tags are a bit sm are much smaller. They measure oh, five and a half inches by three and a bit. And the tag size there is about an inch, inch and a quarter. And I made mine, yeah, about, a, oh, about two inches and an inch I made my one with. But this one being a bigger tag... I thought um, about a two inch belly band would be a good size. So I've just gone ahead and I've I had this piece of vellum. It's it's pink check and I just thought the colour tones match in well. So you don't have to use vellum. You could use any patterned paper. You could stamp some images onto a piece of coffee stained paper. You could even do a lace material belly band. That would look really pretty too. 
but I've just gone ahead and cut a second piece and because I just wanted to do some machine stitching around that belly band section I've just cut and, and, and gone ahead and done that. So really all you need to do is then wrap that around your tag, try and level it as much as you can and then I'm just going to stick those pieces in place at the back. I'm just going to use a bit of art glitter glue for this. And it doesn't have to be very secured because I am going to back this onto um, another piece of paper. So just get that into place. Oops. Like that. Like that. And then, as I said, I've just got a piece of coffee stained paper here that I'm just going to back this tag onto. Um... I think I'll be able to, I'm just going to grab a little bit of washi just to secure that edge piece there or the two joins just so it doesn't stick up. Just for ease of when it's when the uh, coffee stain paper is on the back, it'll just sit a bit flatter. Now you could leave it like that if you wanted to. You could um, yeah, do something pretty on the back there to cover this belly band. But for me, I'm just going to um, cover the whole back of the tag in some coffee stained paper. Like so. And flip that over, pop it down there. And just give that a good burnish on the back. a little rough through there where the back of that belly band is so probably um, what would be a better choice could be like another piece of heavier cardstock uh, to back it with but I just wanted to use the coffee stain paper because it um, goes nicely with the tones of that printable page and again just cutting up oh, cutting up around oh, I just think I've cut my belly band <laughs> that's okay because yeah I did so you want to avoid coming in too close but that's okay for this one because I want to sew around the edges anyway when it's dry so when I'm coming down this way I'll just come out just a bit from that belly band like that all right and there you go. That is as simple as that is. I'm just going to use a little bit of ink and ink around the edges. I'm just going to just reinforce that section that I've cut with a little bit of glue. Like I said, I will sew all around the edges, so that probably wasn't necessary, but just for, just for the video. So I'm just going to give this a bit of ink. Around the edges. And that's very rough on the back. So, yeah, probably because we have that element, the vellum at the back, probably better to line it with a heavier cardstock or, um, yeah, scrapbooking paper because that, doesn't look very attractive so I may have to recover that didn't think about that but I love the front the front's turned out really nicely um, and yeah I don't know just some sort of little bit of embellishing on the front section there maybe a ticket or a label something like that what have we got here haven't thought this far ahead <laughs> um, Oh, actually, I might not do that. I might just... I've got um, some labels from Klee, Klee Black, Klee Blatt Recreations, I think it is. Yeah. And they're a really nice label. So I might use, might use one of those. Just cut one of these out here. I might just 
just off center it. You could put uh, any kind of embellishing on the front of there. You could build it up with some florals, uh, with some cheesecloth, that kind of thing. Anything you like. Or you can leave it plain just like it is. You don't need to embellish the belly band part at all if you didn't want to. But I kind of do like that. Um, I've got this little, it's a sticker. That could be pretty too. I've got a bit of material. Or a bit of cheesecloth, or a bit of lace, or a bit of doily. Oh, geez, the choices are endless, aren't they? <laughs> we'll cut a bit of doily because I oh, really don't know what I'm doing. Let's cut off a bit of doily. Like that. That could look very pretty there. And just maybe this single rose here, I can just cut a, cut that away. Oh, that's pretty. And then that will tie in with the roses in the background. So I'm just going to give this little rose a bit of ink. And I'll stick this doily down. Just a little bit of art glitter glue. dotted around I'll just lay back down there like that and then we'll just put this little little rose it's just a, uh, from a sticker pack that I've had sitting in my stash for a long time but yeah there you go isn't oh that's really sweet I like that and then um yeah then you can just fill it up with tags I've just got an assortment of tags here that um they're not really, they're not embellished, they're just cut ready to go. But just to show you how many, how many you can get into to this, there's, you know, there's lots, you can fit lots and lots and lots of tags. So you could do a loaded, a loaded belly, a loaded belly band tag. And that would make such a lovely happy mail, wouldn't it? It's beautiful. So there you go, very, very simple, quick and easy, just something that's a little different to creating um, handmade ephemera for your junk journals, or a pretty uh, gift for a crafty friend. So there you go, hope that is useful, hope that's interesting to somebody, um, yeah. All right guys, so the printable is available in the Etsy store now. Um, in the garden it's called just all florals and a lot of text and then that piece as well that we already used so that's available in the Etsy store now and uh, yeah belly band tags give them a go they're really simple and easy to make all right guys that's it for me for today thank you so much for joining me again um, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in the next video thanks so much bye bye